What Art and Soul does for artists is we give artists the opportunity to come out to events such as this, such as Art Expo Miami, to show their artwork, get more notoriety, get exposure. The ultimate goal with Art and Soul is to actually turn this into a, a very large firm that we can offer assistance to artists around the world and actually take them from a standpoint of, of a beginning artist um, and actually turn into what is known as an established artist, you know, where their work can be sold anywhere in the U.S., where people actually would know their name, actually know their work. We want to be known as that person to go to when you're looking to get into a gallery or looking to get in a museum, that you'll come to Art and Soul and we'll be able to you know, make that connection for you right away. Um, a few artists that we represent right now at Art and Soul is um, David Wilson out of North Carolina, who is a collage artist. We have um, Stacy Warner, who was at Art Basel. We have Paul, who was also in Art Basel. I have a pastelist that I work with. A lot of my artwork is done in pastel because I, I love pure pigment. I like to be able to create from the earth. Pastel by far to me is my joy. The way light reflects off of it, the way it, the experience that people get from it, it really just does it for me. Art and Soul is a consultant firm where an artist really becomes an artist and can do their job as being an artist and not have to concern themselves so much as the marketing aspect or uh, the promotional aspect because Art and Soul does that for you. We're working to grow and um, expand our, our artists that we work with into um, artists that are also in Zimbabwe that do sculpturing. Um, I also have an artist by the name of um, Fred Odell who is out of Barbados. We really work more with artists directly to help them build their name, help them build their portfolio, help them really get into the career form of being an artist. A lot of artists that artists don't work with are um, beginning artists who are just stepping out into the art world. They really don't have a strong platform. We try to give them that platform to stand on. We have an online gallery that Art and Soul offer every artist that they can be online. That way they can get the exposure um, because in the media age that we live in today, a lot of things happen virtual online. Exposure is very important for an artist. Um, if you don't see the artist's work, you know, what good is it? You know, because it is visual art. So I mean, you need to see it with your eyes. So. Um, all artists have different needs. The artists that I work with right now is, like I said, you know, I come into galleries, we bring in events, or we may take an artist and we may create an event. Everything starts with a conversation. We talk to the artist, we try to figure out what are the artist's goals, where does the artist want to go. Once we figure out those elements, then we take it, we format it, and then we go execute. We'll find a way to give the artist what they need or what they feel they need, and at the same time, we also make suggestions of what we know will help them get to the next level. A lot of artists, they are, of course, most artists, they want to be full-time artists, and we try to help them be a full-time artist where they can actually live off their artwork and make a career out of it. Art is viewed in two ways. Art is either, it's either an investment or it's either just something I like, people like. The question was asked a while ago, why do you buy art? Some people buy it to invest, and try to, you know, buy art at a low price and hold on to it, and hopefully, It'll turn into a profitable piece in you know, 20, 30 years. Some people buy artwork just because I like it and I want it to be in my home. A lot of artists, they do like to try to get the artwork that'll make them money. Of course, that's what we all would like. But um, a lot of artists also do it because they love it, because it's a passion. It's something they really do from their heart. Um, and that's kind of like where the name Art and Soul came from. Art that comes from the soul, art that comes from your heart. That really, that's a passion that's not, it's more than just you know, sitting down and becoming a hobby or just a job. And the, the artists that we work with, we also look for artists that are very passionate about their work. So it actually comes together. When you see Art and Soul, it's a little bit more to it than just the name. It's actually artists that paints from the soul. 